Hello and welcome to another video. Um, I'm here today with a charity shop haul from this morning. Um, I have a lot of like superb stuff. Um, really, really good day today. Um, including one hardback that you're definitely going to want to stay till the end to. But um, I want to start off with a book that I didn't get from charity shop. I don't think I've mentioned on the channel before, but I do actually have a subscription to um, uh, the British Library Tales of the Weird collection. Basically, uh, they release like approximately one one book a month. Uh, so every month you get sent like one of their new titles, and it's usually an anthology. Um, occasionally, it's a novel, but they all kind of like um, are on a certain theme. And this month's is Deadly Dolls, Midnight Tales of Uncanny Playthings. So this is just stories about uh, like haunted dolls, mannequins, averages, as it says there, um, which um, sounds really cool. I do, I do like haunted doll kind of stuff, unless it's Hannibal, which was bollocks, but. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. So these retail for uh, 9.99 each, but um, I believe the subscription is £9.50 per month. And you get the book and you also get uh, a bookmark uh, with the title art and showing you a couple of the other books there. And you get an art print with the full cover art. And on the back of that, you uh, have a little article telling you about um, how they came up with the cover and stuff like that. Uh, so you get those each month. Now this month we actually have um, an additional art card as well. Uh, so this on the back contains a recreation of a comic from, uh, when is it from? 1884 about a doll coming to life. Uh, that's like a reproduction of that comic from approximately 140 years ago. Which is a nice little addition. You, you you usually only get like the one art card, but uh, we've got two this time. So I just wanted to start off with that because I don't usually show them off because it's usually like one book, but it came like literally yesterday. So I thought since I'm doing this video, I might as well include it. Um, so we'll get on to the main stuff that I picked up today. So uh, I'm I've got three here, which are very similar. So these are uh, Warhammer novels. Uh, these are all X Library. And we have uh, The Demon's Curse and tale, uh, a tale of Malice Darkblade, is that his name? Malice Darkblade, yes. Uh, all, all, all of the Warhammer stuff has like really nice cover art. It probably won't focus very well because it does have like the protective library. Uh, plastic over it so you have that that is uh, the demon's curse we have a murder in Marienburg and the last one Keepers of the Flame. There was also a bunch of Warhammer 40,000 ones there, but I'm not as interested in that. So I didn't pick those up. Now, interestingly, um, in my city, we do have kind of like a, um, a British Heart Foundation shop, which sells like specifically vintage stuff. Um, it's usually kind of like fairly high priced, uh, but there's like a lot of like, um, 
vintage stuff um you can find a lot of vintage books clothes um a lot of stuff a lot of stuff basically interestingly i saw quite a lot of um those warhammer books x library with the plastic on them in this shop they probably had about 10 or so um and they were quite expensive kind of, kind of like four or five pound each um and i went to another charity shop in the same city and i found a smaller selection of these books which is where i picked these ones up uh like three three warhammer ones and a bunch of 40k ones so th those those like one pound fifty each so this may be not what has happened but it seems to me that the someone from the british heart foundation vintage shop has bought these books from this other shop and then marked them up and put them in their own shop that seems to be what what what's happened there um i don't quite know how i feel about that that is kind of a bit shady but um it's weird that in, in, unless in, unless the person donated them specifically took them to two different shops on on like two different sides of town uh which i doubt then um it's weird that that would that they would end up in two different shops but whatever it is what it is um i paid like one pound fifty each for those so um i'm happy with that i wasn't going to pay four pound for the other ones uh so next up We have Christopher Ransom, The Birthing House. This is apparently his debut novel. I have a few books of this guy. Um, do you want to focus? Because I'm not reading all these blurbs out. But um, yeah, like I said, I've got I've, I've got a few of his. Uh, don't have this particular one. So it's. Um, look quite interesting another one for the collection uh, then we have three winter ghosts by Gary Sargent um, this looks like um, just a standard ghost story it's quite short um, it's only kind of like um, 150 odd pages uh, a little bit less and um never heard of the author but you know picked up always interesting picking up new stuff that i've not heard of before and uh, the cover's really nice so yeah thought i'd grab that uh next up is a head full of ghosts by Paul Tremblay. Now I have read one of Paul Tremblay's books, um, The Paul Bearers Club, which I didn't like, but a lot of people have said like um, that they didn't like The Paul Bearers Club, but they but, but they liked other books by him. So you know, I, I, I thought why not? Why not give him another chance? But it certainly, it certainly looks interesting from the back um, and it, Stephen King says on the front that it scared him um, don't, don't know how accurate that is but um, you know I, the plot the plot seems interesting something that um, you know I will probably get into at some point uh, like I said I want to give him like a, another go and see if the Paul Bearers Club was just kind of like a one-off um, that like I said, I, I didn't, I didn't like it, but a lot of people did. So who knows? Um, so that's it for the paperbacks. I've got three hardbacks here. Um, the last one is fantastic, but uh, start with this one. So this is uh, Stephen King's The Stand uh, for the first time. The complete and uncut edition, um, as you can see there now this is one that i already have but the version i have i've, I've pulled this off, off my shelves just for a comparison is also hardback but it is kind of like small smaller version hardback 
so if you can see kind of like next to each other that is the one that I already had and this is the one that I bought today um, and I much prefer the uh, larger size hardback other than that it's identical uh, same author photos on the back um, but it is nice to have that um, in like that larger format so I picked that up and that was only $1.99 so that was pretty cool um, I'm running out of spaces to put these let's put it over there uh, next up we have Clive Barker Cabal um, this uses the same art as the paperback that I already have uh, very very young looking Clive Barker there I believe this was his second or third novel uh, not entirely sure uh, but this was turned into the film Nightbreed um, I have read it but not for a really 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 long time um, I don't believe the cover art is by Clive Barker I'm wondering if it will tell me inside uh, it certainly doesn't look like his work like that's that's definitely Clive Barker I can tell that straight away but um, the front cover it doesn't actually say but that that certainly doesn't look like his artwork um, like I said same same cover that is on the paperback that I already have uh, so it's a nice upgrade to hardback um, but I've never really loved that cover um, it's not that interesting to me you know like a face peering out the cloud um, it's not that interesting but um like i said nice nice upgrade from uh paperback to hardback there uh that was from the same shop 199 also from the same shop 199 is the star of the show uh this is clive barker again and this is this is beautiful this is absolutely beautiful this is one that i have in paperback uh but the paperback can get in the bin because this is absolutely beautiful look at the art on that that is absolutely fantastic clive barker the great and secret show fully wrap around art that is absolutely stunning and I'm assuming I, I was gonna say I'm assuming the art carries on onto the flaps but it doesn't it's just um, like black on the flaps but uh, uh, if I can get that to focus there this again is one that I read like a long long time ago so I don't really remember much about it but um, yeah like I said one one ninety nine for this um, Again, this this isn't Clive Barker's own art, but I can I can forgive that when it when it looks this beautiful. Like, let me show some close-ups of this. Look at that! That is that is absolutely fantastic. And this was one ninety nine. absolutely beautiful cover um and absolutely the start of the show today so i'm really really happy with that even even though those three hardbacks of books that i already have they are all upgrades um and especially that one because uh, the um the paperback cover of that is is decent uh it does have clive barker art on it um but that 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 is excellent so really 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 happy with that um couple weeks in a row now i have had really good finds in charity shops um i hope it continues i really hope it does um but we will have to see so that is it for this video if you enjoyed please click like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time